And here it is, my brand new Oculus Quest. And as you can tell by the reflections, I even haven't unboxed it yet. However, this is not another Quest unboxing video because who needs another one of those? Instead, this is for all of the glasses wearers out there. In this video, I'm going to find out how well the Quest works for people who are wearing glasses. And for that matter, I brought my small glasses here and I brought my medium-sized glasses here and I even brought my big ass Bose sunglasses here and I'm going to check out the quest with all of these glasses and I'm going to show you what additional steps glasses wearers have to take care of in order to use the quest with glasses and in order not to scratch the lenses and all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about the Oculus Quest as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming Oculus Quest videos. But now, without further ado, let's give this the fastest unboxing treatment seen on YouTube ever and let me show you what you as a glasses wearer have to take care of before you start your first session. Let's do this. And there was the fastest Quest unboxing ever. Here's the Quest. Here are the touch controllers. Then here on the left, the power brick and the cable and the batteries. And most important, the glasses spacer. That's what this video is all about. Also in the box, you'll find a manual that will teach you exactly what I'm telling you in this video, but who reads manuals? So this is all about the Quest and the glasses spacer. So let me show you the Quest and let me show you that without the glasses spacer, actually, my glasses will touch the lenses. And this is where the scratches happen. So that's why we absolutely want to put in the glasses spacer. This is the glasses spacer so that there's more space for your glasses. So how to go about it? Well, very easy. Simply get off this face padding. You have to pull it quite violently and then you can simply get it off like this. And this is how the face padding actually looks like. Then get the glasses spacer. It's here. This is the glasses spacer and simply put it into place where the face padding has been before. Yes, it is truly that simple. Once you've done this, put the face padding in place now on top of the glasses spacer. And that's truly everything that you got to do with this simple method. Now you have some more space for your glasses. All right. So as you saw, it's not so hard to put in the spacer and you should do so to gain some well extra space for your glasses. So now it's the time to check out how well that actually works and how comfortable it is to wear glasses. Let's start with the small one. These are the glasses that I normally wear where they are. Well, as you can tell, really small. And well, let's see how well that works with the Oculus Quest. And yeah, all right. So no problem to put it on. And um, yeah, so this for the small, for the small size glasses, like putting it on and off, actually no problem at all. And as you could tell, this is how I would do it. Like go from the back, pull it, pull it and then put it on and also to turn to get it off put it first and and put it off like this so that's good news if you wear glasses that are this kind of size so rather small i think these are really small you won't have any problem test number one succeeded so let's go with test number two now these frames are a bit bigger. Let's see. How do you like those? Please put your comment in the comment section below. But no, I'm kidding. I'm just trying now to find out how this would work. So as you can tell, they are a bit bigger, like I would say medium sized. And let me try the same thing here as well. So also, I'm doing the same thing here. First like this. 
pulling it and bringing it over. Okay, and also here, I could comfortably wear this. Yeah, I can. That works well. So let's see if I can also just as easily pull the whole thing off. So holding it, pulling it, and yeah, works. Good. So for this kind of medium sized glasses, it also works. So now I'm kind of looking forward <laughs> for the big ass Bose Alto. You know, these smart glasses from Bose here with the, with the speaker here. <laughs> so these are the biggest glasses that I could find. I know they, they, might, they are for sure bigger glasses, but I think, yeah, this, these, are, these are pretty big. So let's see if that works at all. And here we go. Test number three. And again. Okay, it's a bit tougher now. Oh, I can I can tell already. That's okay. I can tell that actually on the side of the frames I have contact, and the Oculus Quest is kind of pushing the whole thing onto my head. So here we have we absolutely have contact. So it did work. I have the glasses in in the in the casket. But I can tell if I move the Quest, it will move my whole glasses with me. So I could wear it. But it is not as comfortable as with the smaller ones. So yeah, let me putting it up. It also works. But yeah, here, here at this at this part of the frames, this would touch touch the outer side of the of the face padding. And let me try again. Yeah, right. So it will work, but it's it's it, it would feel a bit forced. It does feel a bit forced. So let me show you that. Let me show you the size. All right. So yeah, you see. So that is a bit tough. Let me show you that. So with this kind of glasses. Actually, it would feel a bit forced already. It still can work, but it's not really great. So yeah, have a look at this. So so the medium sized ones, the medium sized ones, they worked really nice. Let me show you again how that looks. This was fine. Probably I will measure it and I put the measurements down in the descriptions for the medium one. This worked fine. But this one, this was a problem already. And if you look at them, at them, yes, you can tell that the Bose Alto are wider. These ones, these these ones are wider, and these ones will not fit. So if you happen to have the Bose Alto <laughs> sunglasses, and if you want to play Quest, that's not gonna happen. Good, but these ones, these ones are fine. So I'm going to put the measurements into the description so that you also know that what 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 kind of Glasses will still work fine. Yeah, what else do you need to know as a glasses user? So what you did here with the spacer, you gained some space, right? But it also means that your eyes are actually further away from the screens. And that means you will, you will lose some of the FOV, some of the field of view. And um, yeah, the closer you are with your eyes to the to the lenses and to the displays, the bigger the FOV will be, the field of view in virtual reality, what you can see in virtual reality. And the further away you go, the smaller the field of view will be. So by, by putting that space in between, you do lose a bit of FOV. Now I've tried this before and it is noticeable, but it's not, it's not a deal breaker. So you will still be fine. All right, I believe that uh, this should be quite helpful for you as glasses wearers. <laughs> I really do hope so. Um, if that was indeed helpful, I'd be really happy about a thumbs up. 
And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, and if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming Oculus Quest footage, and there will be quite a lot coming up, then definitely subscribe to this channel and also make sure to click on the bell button. Yeah, so you simply don't miss any of my videos and also so that you don't miss whenever I go live. Now that's it and well, I can only say so much. Um, yeah, get the Quest, it's an awesome headset and well, I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.